Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about what I had to do, what I was eating, what my nutrition was uh, in order to get to the level of shred that I have been kind of displaying on social media for the past couple of weeks. Uh, to give you some additional information, uh, back in July, I uh, had scheduled a photo shoot for a book cover uh, that I want to, basically I have an intention of getting a book published and I wanted to get like a super shredded physique for the cover of that, of that book. Uh, my intention was to hit 5% body fat, but I only hit 7% and I'm about to get into the reasons why and in some ways it was a success uh, to hit the level of shred that I was pursuing but then still to fall short of the specific number that I had in mind. Um, and I really like to go into details with about that uh, since a lot of people have been asking me questions about it. So without further ado, um, if you want to get shredded, there's plenty of information out there as to the proper diet that you should really be uh, practicing on a routine basis in order to hit the level of aesthetic physique that you're looking for. Right now, I am a month out from focusing on what I eat on any level. So the way I look right now is kind of like my natural bulk uh, as to, as you know, I've, I've been eating literally whatever I want for like, like the past month. And this is what it looks like. So if I want to change that, I have used two different methods of getting shredded and basically just cutting out all the fat from my body. Two different methods. I did one method in 2021 and that's the tried and true method. Um, I was preparing for a movie role that I helped co-produce. Uh, the movie's called Skyfly. I played the main antagonist in it. And, um, you know, myself and the other producer, uh, we had determined that it'd be fun and cool for me to show up in the first scene shirtless, just to like add some production value. So I had three months to prepare for this shirtless scene. And I set a date, we got the, we got the calendar out and I was like, okay, three months caloric deficit. And for those who don't know what a caloric deficit is, it's basically if you are burning 2000 calories a day, you want to eat, let's say 1500 calories a day, and then you come in at a 500 calorie deficit. You do that for the entire week, you lose a pound of fat. Uh, in theory. So just do that every single week and you're losing weight. It's pretty simple. It's tried and true. Uh, in my opinion, it's the most effective uh, method for weight loss. Caloric deficit. You have to eat less calories than you burn. That is the best way to go about losing fat from your body. I do want to make that clear. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about how I got shredded through the process of binge eating. And that's what happened in 2022. Why did it happen? Because the method of caloric deficit was a bit too boring for me. I did it, it was so successful. And uh, you know, my roommate, he had said something like, if it worked so well, why try it again? Or like, apparently there's like a phrase out there, it's like, it, it was so effective that you don't do it again or something along those lines. But that's exactly how I felt where I was eating the same thing every day for three months. Um, I was oscillating between uh, chicken, salmon, or ground turkey for my protein. And then everything else was the same. So I was eating black beans, um, potatoes, non-fat Greek yogurt, uh, kiwi, and almonds, and spinach spinach. So I was eating those six things and a protein uh, every day for three months. I, I would say every three weeks I had a cheat meal, uh, which consisted of me going to a restaurant and basically ordering whatever I was craving for that month and moving on with my life. That cheat meal would turn into a cheat day and I would end up getting like Reese's or ice cream afterwards and you know that was never really beneficial to the goal, but it worked out. 
I got the look that I was looking for in 2021. I was shredded for the for the set, um, and we killed it. We we got we hit it, and caloric deficit was the tried and true method. 2022 came, and I knew that I wanted to schedule this photo shoot for uh, the book cover that I that I had in mind, and this time I wanted to record that I actually hit 5% body fat, um, as opposed to not knowing back uh, last year. So, as a result of me not wanting to do the same thing I did last year because it was just so effective and so, you know, whatever, I wanted to experiment with fasting. And uh, in the beginning of the year, I was fasting, uh, I was doing alternate day fasting, which is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you eat whatever you want one day, and then the next day you don't eat anything. You just drink water and maybe a cup of coffee, and then you just do the same thing over and over again. I did that for about uh, the first month in January, and it didn't really yield um, any significant results. I think I lost like a pound or two, um, but it wasn't really uh, substantial, so I kind of abandoned that pretty quickly. Then February was kind of a shit show. I had friends visiting from out of town, and we were going out to eat all the time, so February was just a loss. Um, March, I tried keto which was actually really, really effective. Um, I lost a lot of weight in March. I lost about 10 pounds. Um, but one thing I noticed is, and for those who don't know, uh, keto is where you basically don't eat any carbs at all. And as effective as it was, I noticed that my muscles looked different. Um, without the carbohydrates, they looked a lot more deflated. They were very lean and I did lose a lot of weight, but there was less of a puffiness to my muscles. Instead, it was just like, just like really, they, they almost looked shrunken. Um, so it wasn't really the look that I was going for and as effective as the weight loss was on keto I kind of abandoned it in March uh, moving into April um, And that's when the There's no other way of putting it. That's when the eating disorder started. So April came around and I'm thinking okay Fuck keto keto doesn't create the look that I want and at the same time I feel like my legs need to be a bit bigger in order for me to feel completely satisfied with my physique. So I kind of abandoned any type of dietary approach and focused more on changing my body composition, which involved eating a surplus of calories in order to add additional weight to my legs. Um, I did that from April to June. I was able to gain five pounds of muscle in my legs just by focusing on the caloric surplus. During that time, I was eating fucking donuts and a whole bunch of carbs, obviously in incorporating protein for the repair of the muscles. But um, yeah, I was, I was eating like a crazy person from April to June, which was great. Then June came around and I was ready to get shredded again. And this time the focus was it was going to be a caloric deficit again. However, it just didn't work that way. Um, I didn't have the discipline. I didn't have the patience. I didn't have the, I didn't, there was something missing this year. So instead of just doing the tried and true method, I attempted it and I just failed. So instead I would binge eat. <laughs> But I still had the goal of hitting 5%. So what it looked like is I would get through the day and let's say I would have like 1,600 calories throughout the day and it's like, okay, stop eating. And then something's staring at me in the face like a Reese's cup or you know a, a muffin or a donut and I would eat the donut and then I'd be like, okay, well, I'm now over my caloric budget. So what do I do? Well, you could consider the whole day a loss and go like, okay, well, you're 200 calories over. I guess it's not the end of the world, but just stop eating now. Instead, my brain thinks, dude, you've already exceeded your budget. Let's just keep going. I mean, the day's already shot. Just eat as much as you can. And that's exactly what I did. I don't recommend it um, because it's quite erratic and probably uh, detrimental to your health. Um, but my current theory is that your body can't store a specific amount of calories in a short amount of time. So what I started doing from uh, June to July, when I did the photo shoot towards the end of July, is I would eat between 5,000 to 10,000 calories per day, and then fast for 
the next day or two days or even three days sometimes and then start the process over. And somehow I was still losing weight. And I really think it's because I was eating so much food in a very short amount of time so that the body wasn't really able to store the significant excess of calories that I was consuming. So, in short, if I had 10,000 calories, which I was doing, if I had 10,000 calories in the span of a two hour window, sure, some of it would get stored, but the thing is that I hadn't eaten two days prior, and after that 10,000 calorie uh, intake, I wouldn't eat two days after. So that means two days of fasting, then I would eat 10,000 calories, and then I'll do another two days of fasting. And I found that my body would get, it would retain the, the energy and the nutrition that it required from that 10,000 calorie binge, but then kind of dispose of the rest instead of storing it. I think it requires further research, um, maybe even scientific uh, experimentation to fully understand what was happening uh, in my body, but it was not storing the excess food as fat. Instead, I was losing weight on a consistent basis for the past two months in order to reach 7% body fat. And the only reason I didn't reach 5% is because I did not, I wasn't disciplined enough. Uh, I would say that it is a more systematic method um, in order to, to just monitor how much you're eating. And in fact, I had set up a calendar in my, in my room. I was documenting how many calories I was eating each day. And it just got to the point that you would hit the number and then for me, and I, I guess it's, it's also because I understood that it was working, that on the days that I would eat, I just kind of ran rampant and I, it would start off with like, okay, well, let me have this burger. Now let me have a large pizza. Now let me have a milkshake. Let me have a hot dog. Let me have, let me finish it off with a slice of pie. And all this would happen within like the span of two hours. And it was extremely unhealthy. I don't recommend it, but it, it did work because I developed the pattern of being able to fast for a couple of days after I would have an episode like that. And that was my eating habit for the past two months. Um, the photo shoot went off with, uh, you know, with success we were able to achieve a physique that I'm proud of. Um, but literally right after, it's been taking me a month, it's taken me a month to get back into some sort of normalcy uh, so far as my eating habits are concerned because the whole fasting and then binge eating and then fasting and then binge eating was not a, it didn't feel like a sustainable lifestyle for me. It didn't feel like something that I should be doing. In fact, there were many nights where I would finish eating and then just have like this huge distended stomach and uh, I'd wake up in the morning with heartburn um, and still feel that I'm digesting the food that I ate 12 hours ago. Um, so it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, yeah, that's what I did in 2022, binge eating and fasting. Uh, if you're going to do it that way, which I don't recommend, um, you would want to learn how to fast. Yeah, fasting was the counterbalance to binge eating. And it's, it's interesting, the reason why I find it interesting and the reason why I'm probably going to have to explore this more is because the math of losing weight per week is, you know, if you're eating 2,000 calories, or if you're burning 2,000 calories per day, seven days a week, and you're you know, if you're pursuing the caloric deficit, uh, then you're only consuming 1,500 calories. So that's 500 calories per day deficit. 500 times seven is 3,500. So you're in a deficit of 3,500 calories per week. I was not in a caloric deficit when I was binge eating. I was eating around 10,000 calories, let's say 5,000 to 10,000 calories. Every time I ate for the past two months, it was in that ballpark. And it wouldn't equate to the two days of fasting that I was doing the day prior and the time after. Overall, I was consuming more than I was burning during this whole binge eating and fasting process, yet I was still losing weight, 
which contradicts uh, the information and the knowledge that we all have access to, which is if you want to lose weight, you have to be in a caloric deficit. And that's why my theory is that your body can only store so much food in a small amount of time. So that if you, if you do eat 10,000 calories in a two hour window, it's only going to store a certain amount and then have to dispose of the rest. That's my theory. And I, I am going to do uh, additional research and experimentation on it. But I do wanna get this video out there uh, for those that have been asking about it, what my plans were, what, what I did in order to hit the physique. And I'm actually going back to it. Um, my next video will be about the process of going back to the shred. I'm gonna get shredded and I, I never hit my 5%. So I plan on doing that by the end of the year. And then in 2023 and 24, I'm just gonna be focused on going on a bulk. I wanna gain about 10 to 15 pounds of muscle to really perfect the, the physique. But I'm gonna do one last shred and I'm going to do it correctly this time. Um, now that I'm back on a, a regular healthy pattern of eating. I don't want to do the binge eating and fasting method ever again. Uh, it didn't feel like I was in control of myself. And that's one thing I do want to emphasize. I was not in control. I had control on the days that I was fasting. And it's like, that was, it got to the point where it was easy. Um, but overall, it was just not, it was not conducive to a healthy lifestyle. And I do want to make that clear. Um, so yeah. Like I said uh, earlier, I may or may not be re-recording this video at a later date with uh, better technological equipment at my disposal, uh, or I'll just be revisiting this topic again because I think it's, I think it's interesting. I think there's a lot to consider about what happened, and I don't, I don't think there's enough information on the experience that I actually went through so far as being able to lose so much weight on. A surplus of calories so that's my story again caloric deficit is the best way to go uh, so far as losing body fat and getting shredded um, but fasting and binge eating did work for me if you were to do it I would fast two days binge eat and then two days fasting that's my recommendation and uh, <laughs> again there's better ways to go about it all right, like and subscribe. <laughs> That's my first time saying it. <laughs> I'm going to get in the habit of it. All right, thank you all.